At the Haney's Corner Art Festival, we feature over a hundred artists from throughout the region, and we have uh, artists that travel as far away as Wyoming and Pennsylvania. And basically, it's just an opportunity to bring the community and the folks from throughout the region down to the Arts District at Haney's Corner to, to show off all the incredible artists that there are in this region. It's very gratifying and very exciting to see the quality and extent of the talent that's in this area that's available uh, for this kind, of, uh, this kind of a show. Punk in the City is trying to do our part to, to assist in the further development of the Arts District by continuing to hold the Art Festival down here. We're using uh, the Arts Focus to uh, take the lead in the redevelopment of this neighborhood. And Arts is a leading factor in bringing people and residents and customers and tourists and reinvestment. If you look around across the country, you see Arts coming into those areas that are most blighted. And once that takes hold, all the reinvestment and the upscaling of those neighborhoods happens. Arts always takes the lead. I do uh, mixed media, acrylics, and watercolor, and uh, we just love coming down here and hanging out and meeting all the people, and it's just a really good time. They're definitely trying to do a lot of improvements down here, and um, looks like it's coming along. The Alhambra seems to be moving along really well now, so um, yeah, we're looking forward to all the improvements down here. The Alhambra Theater is excited to be here to support the local artists in our community. We're selling t-shirts and letting people know a little bit about our theater. The organization is really thrilled that in January of 2011 we're going to start the construction and restoration of this fabulous jewel in the Haney's Corner Arts District. I think that we can't do enough to make the art district amazing. I really hope to see a lot come of it. People started preferring abstracts and I thought well I'll give it a try and when I picked up that palette knife it really became a lot of fun. I draw it on the canvas and then I paint it with a texture gel using like a knife and then I let that dry then I go back and repaint with the color after that dries I go in and um, brush over it with like some metallics a little bit of silver and um, then clear coat when everything is finished. Words mean everything to me, and the visuals come second. So when I find words that move me, then I hook up a visual, and, and my, my art is women and words. I consider myself a realist painter, and that I uh, want to paint things in such a way that they, they look real, uh, and look like they're there and have some presence to them. One in particular, after hours here, it seems everybody's been drawn to it. And, uh, it has a, a group of toys in it, and uh, it's after hours, so they've been having a few drinks, and I've got a, a troll doll that's going a little wild, and all the other dolls are uh, focusing in and watching this troll uh, kind of have his fun. And so everybody's loved it because it uh, has a three-dimensional look is what I keep hearing. Response has been great. I'm offering a, uh, a drawing for a free month of art lessons, and uh, had a lot of people enter, enter in that. The artists and, and various artisans that are interested in participating, we basically make the, the application available on our website in January and it's due in March. We're going to continue two art festivals each year, one in the spring and one in the fall.